it wants to be in flow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and using the art of reflection to do so is like a really important thing, and not not uh, thinking that you or I or whoever has got it all figured out and all answered. That reflection is an important thing, and being as objective as that as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And I really feel like just that whole side of surrender that equals flow is you really do need to let your business entity take its own course. It's driving. Mm -hmm. Your soul business is generally in co-creation with Mother Earth. It's bigger than you. Mm -hmm. It's way bigger than you. And if you try and control or manipulate how that looks for short term or out of fear or because you think that's the best, it, it doesn't really have, it doesn't get to do what it wants to do. So exactly. it's really going to be willing to go where it wants to take you. And it's scary. Yeah. Like when I went the flip from, you know, meditation to sales, I was like, what am I doing? I hate sales. I left that industry. I don't want to go back. Yeah. Uh, I had some tantrums, but. Sure. I let it be. <laughs> it, it's where you're needed though and I think that's a great way to look at it is from that perspective of like how can I serve rather than what do I want to do and then that's yeah. where the flow comes from and I think that's a great way to just that analogy before of getting yourself out of the way. It's really like yeah. how can I, yeah. how can I best be of service and then once you understand that and truly work with that then that's then you will get yourself out of the way because like you said you'll understand that it is greater than yourself that it is it is about the earth, it is about this universe, you know, it's a mm. war of consciousness that, you know, is there and is important to be a part of and, and to offer the best of ourselves because mm. the world needs it at the moment. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing, like, tapping into that co-creation yeah. um, with, with, you know, what else is going on, um, how much that helps you see more of the end game and takes focus off the trivial shit yes stuff that normally really upsets you like when you know a longer vision you're like like even i'm loving this soul-centered sales i have no idea how long it's going to go for but a pretty strong message came through you know just the last couple weeks well actually you're recruiting earth warriors (laughs) through sales training i'm like Mm. oh (laughs) i'm like okay (laughs) that's really like but when I realized, oh, this is what's going to happen with these people and this is what we're actually doing, and the work was around a great remembering and an activation of our very first incarnation on earth and what we came here to do and completing the cycle, I was just like, I don't care if anything wrong goes, goes wrong in my business right now in this moment because that's like, that's what's mm-hmm. going on and and that is my drive, you know. It's yeah. like yeah, it's just like, oh, wow, in the big scheme of things, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's someone great. doesn't want to work with you. It's okay if your website crashes. It's okay if you haven't had a website for a year and you're trying to run a business. Like, really, it's not that big a deal. And you will get glimpses of where you're heading. And the way that those glimpses come through is that you have to have them first to be able to identify and go, oh, that's a that's a kind of glimpse of my future. So I did get a lot of signs that this is what would happen. I ignored them. And now when I get signs, this is where you're going, I'm like, oh, okay, just note it. Pop it over there. The seed is planted. Yeah. Um, and just let go because you don't have any control. 